hello friends in this video i will be talking about sign in with google button how you can integrate that button with your react or next.js application and for this i'm using this article written by jay hackett so full credit to this guy he has done wonderful job writing this article where it explains how you can integrate this button google sign in button with your app before you jump into the code here is the brief overview of what is happening behind the scene so this is our the react client okay when user presses the sign in with google and is redirected to google login screen so once we hit on this button what happens is that the user is redirected to the google login screen and their user can either continue with the login or reject the login if user wants to continue with the login then google sends the token to the client then with that token what happens is that client sends, sends that id token to the api server now this is our api server and this is a google's auth service then once that uh, token is available on our server we can communicate with google's auth service and then verify the token and get the payload so payload contains all the details of the user that is trying to log in and once we know the user we can store it in database you can create a session for the user and that's it that's how it works basically so for that you will need to go to the credentials in google cloud platform under apis and services in here you can see this oauth 2.0 client id section so just you have to create a new credential you can see there is a button create credentials so just click on that and then give all the details give the name for the app and then also the server name so if you are testing on the local host you can give local host call on 3000 or whatever port you are running your server on once you do that you will get the client id and once the client id is available what you can do is you can start integrating this login component so for that we need this react uh, library react google login so install this package and then just insert this google login component in your register page so you can see here this is my register page and in here i am using this component google login okay and here you have to pass that client that google client id that you had just created so once you do that what happens is that you will see the screen like this this button you will see basically login with google once user hits that uh, login screen button another pop-up comes where google will authenticate the user and then will ask if you want to continue with this client or not if user says continue then what happens is that callback function is gets called so we have got this callback function here you can see on success we are calling handle login on failure also we are calling handle login so here is this callback function and you can see this function is taking one parameter google data which contains the token so the token is created by google for us and then what we are doing here is that we are contacting our local server so this is my custom api that i have created to manage this token so on the server side we are going to verify this token and then extract the user information you can't extract the user information on the client side you have to do it on the server side so let us go to this endpoint api slash login google dash login so you can see this is the api endpoint and here you can see what we are doing is we are extracting the token from the request body and then but before that you need to remember that we are using this google auth library again you have to install this one again we are using the google client id as well over here and creating the oauth to client with the help of this client instance you can call this verify id token method so basically what happens here is that it will verify that this token is correct and it will also it will also return the object called as ticket and you can call one method get payload so once we call this method ticket dot get payload what happens is that whichever user is trying to log in all the information of that user can be extracted so you will get one object where it will show like email his name and everything so once you know that details you can store that in your database or you can create a new session for that user so it is up to you like what you want to do with that user details so basically in here i'm just responding uh, that payload to the client and then on the client side i'm just printing it so i'm just gonna click on this login with google so as you can see the screen is coming and i have already clicked on continue so it is not asking me second time but if you look at this console you will see the details of the user that has logged in with google so you can see this data is being printed here so it will tell you everything like email so you know the email of the user who is trying to log in then given name family name 
So all this information. This information is enough to create a new user in your database. It is also giving the picture of that user as well. So that is my profile picture. So that is how you can use this login with Google button in your React or Next.js application. Thanks for watching.